certain accounts and bloggers and finstas off air. She lives her life. I feel if you ask her a question, she answers and she's not, she's, I think the most protected housewife right now. I think she's taken Teresa's title. I think that Kyle plays the game exactly how you should. I do. I mean, she doesn't go too far. She doesn't get too dark. She doesn't go too crazy when, when, you know, she sends it and she's, she's look, she doesn't, she said, I would never have shown private texts off air on air. Like Dorit did. I believe her. I do believe her. She has enough without having to go low like that. I don't think she's thirsty. I think she should teach a course in how to uh, be a housewife. I think she's the number one most successful housewife with how to play the game. I do. 14 seasons in. She's mm-hmm. she's it. She's she's the OG. Mm-hmm. I mean, we have potentially no OG on 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 that one on Jersey and uh Potomac. Yeah, we got OGs, but I mean, please. We're going to say Giselle's the most uh, successful housewife and uh, yeah. Come on. You see Jizz. Yeah, that's a great point. Kyle is Kyle is beloved by the network. Beloved. Beloved. She doesn't what? call Andy with an, if she gets it, she shows up, she films. Everybody that I have spoken to behind the scenes, everybody, the rumor is she is very easy to work with. I Just believe. like Candy Burris. No edits, no this, no that. She is not going anywhere ever. We will. Her name will never be on that board. I mean, let's never say never, but she's not, she's so protected. Uh, What do you make of Garcelle saying that Mm. her son is not going to appear on this season of Real Housewives? Every Mm. year she lets her twin boys decide if they want to be on or not. And her one son- which is, which one? What's his name? Jax. Jax, thank you. So Jade, I guess, will still be on. Jax is not going to do it. That the racist comments have continued despite the bot gate a couple of years ago, and he just doesn't want to do it. Uh, let me tell you something about uh, a few things. People uh, don't get over something. Once they're on, you know, uh, I'm a thirsty fan that now has a podcast, whatever it is that's in your repertoire. Teresa will always now forever be the woman that pays bloggers. You know, it just is what it is. You don't, uh, the negativity from the trolls, we have trolls and they live mostly in their parents' basement with no social uh, graces at all. Never been kissed. Uh, We should recast the Drew Barrymore uh, movie with uh, the trolls from Bravo. Uh, so I'm sure the kid gets uh, just as much hate as if he was still on the show. I mean, Lisa Rinna ain't talking about housewife. If you ask her about it in an interview, I'm sure you're allowed to have one question. I mean, she is just, she's moved on in life, dudes. And uh, yet these people uh, will hate her forever. Hate her. So even though it was an edited version of herself. So uh, I believe this, that the kid is getting hate. And he's in high school and uh, I'll miss him. I actually like uh, Jackson Jade, to be honest with you. I like him as far as the kids go, but uh, Sarah's laughing. Well, it's always good. I mean, the kids, I think, call out their parents in a way that other people can't, right? Because they live with them. They know them. It's sad. It's sad to see this. I think it's great. You know, you got to prioritize your mental health and your wellness. And it's a lot. I think it's a lot to put a child on TV. You have to very thick skin. It's a lot. So do what's best for you. It's sad that I cannot believe that people are this racist, but especially online, you know, you don't have to identify your true self. So the barrier to entry is so low. People can say, of course, things they would never say to your face or with their actual profile picture. And of course, yeah. So I don't blame you. You gotta block it out, guys. Come to come to the weekend life course, uh, life coaching course by David. Don't listen to any of it. Uh, you know, this is why I'm not going to be a parent because I'd be a horrible parent. I'd be like, a, Dubrow is notorious for saying to the kids, you know, some could be on whatever you want. I would be like, listen, in this family, we need to earn our keep. And uh, daddy has a job that pays a shitload of fucking money. So you're going to get up in the morning. You're going to take your showers. You're going to put on your clothes and you're going to bring your best personalities. Be yourselves because they want authenticity. But you're all going to film. I don't give a fuck if you don't want to film. Get on. Get down in that living room and get on that camera. That's what I would say. So 
give a rip about your mental health. Everybody's their keep. Get out there. Who cares what they say? The more negative, the better, because that means they're watching and they love you and bring on the hate. And in fact, David, my God, are you not proof? Honey, they double down on the hate for you and the ratings go up, 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 up and soar. I Um, mean, bring on the hate, baby. Bring on the hate. And by the way, it's also a very, very good lesson to teach a child at an early age. Do not, like, listen, I can't take credit for not giving a fuck what people think about me. I take some credit, but I was raised that way. And that goes with everything. You you want another car and you can afford it? Buy another car. You're buying that that Mercedes to, to, to one-up the neighbors? You're pathetic. I was brought, you, you do you. So I think it's not the worst lesson to teach a child at an early age that this is the world. This is the world. People are going to say racist things. They're going to say homophobic. They're going to say anything. Buck up. So I would, that's not directed towards Garcelle. I think it's wonderful that these parents are giving the children a choice. I would be like, buck up, get up, ignore the fucking comments, delete them and get down there. And you better eat that cereal and pour that milk. And you better smile when that camera points in your fucking face because daddy needs to earn a paycheck today. So I'm a horrible parent, but that's why I don't have kids. The problem is, right, is kids' brains don't fully develop till their early 20s. So while you have the, it's wild child actors, it doesn't matter how much therapy and all these things that they give them. If your brain, your brain isn't fully, can't quite process the fact, which is why, right, high school is so difficult. Because you want oh. to be it's so badly. You want to fit in with all these people that in five years you will never speak to and they all get fat. But anyhow, at the time, it is so hard. It's so hard. And what people say just stings in a way because of course once you get to be 28 20 you're like oh my god please hate on me so i can make more money you know i mean the more hate the better darling but you don't it's hard when your brain isn't fully processed when you 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 just can't rush that that's why it's really hard for kids to be on tv i I think it's great that they're stepping back and yeah you can always come back to tv when you're ready and you're I, i mean that's why i do give Credit to the Ratch and Erica Jane. I mean, they come back with the most vile hate towards them and they keep showing up and they show up and, hey, Andy Cohen loves the hate, I bet. He loves it. It, Erica keeps, uh, she keeps going that, Erica. Yeah, you know, I think Erica, she kind of likes it. Like, she don't care. Do too. She don't care. The rat don't care. No, I mean, I mean, honestly, that's why I don't care what anyone thinks. It's not just, well, it is my parents, but- I mean, also, I had a horrible childhood in high school. So there's wow. nothing that could be said about me that wasn't said when I was like a child. So we're way past the worst of it. I mean, we're like decades past. I'm like an old fuck. Uh, and I, you don't have to feel sorry for me. It's really helped shape me, really. Have you? Well, Honestly. I mean, okay, but you're not like welcoming anyone into your life. You 